Okay guys, I'm back at the Haunted Cemetery, and I know some of y'all are wondering why I keep coming back here. <clears throat> well, for one thing, this is where we've captured some of the most big time credible, credible evidence of uh, full bodied apparitions. Uh, caught one that looked like, uh, I don't know if, you're, if you've ever seen the movie Hellraiser. With the guy that had the nails sticking out of his head, well, it was him without the nails, bald-headed, with a black trench coat on. And the other apparition we caught was uh, an older-looking gentleman that looked like he still had his uh, hospital gown on. And I'll put those on right now for you to see them. Let's go check everything out. If there are any spirits in here that would like to communicate, I'm sure you know who I am by now. I would love to know who those ghost apparitions are that we caught on uh, camera because I've never in my life seen two clear figures of ghost apparitions. Is that what you look like in real life? Uh, uh, that one that looked like Hellraiser, I hope you didn't look like that in real life because that's pretty scary. Now the one with the hospital gown, you know, it looks like it may be passed in the hospital. And then, uh, the, then he was buried. It looked like, you see what I'm talking about. It looks like uh, he still got the hospital gown on. But the Hellraiser dude is just bald headed with no nails sticking out of his head and he's got uh, like a black overcoat on it tripped me out when I saw those I thought I figured I'd just film around instead of doing spirit box right off the bat film around maybe see because there are some very old graves in here the problem is and I say it every time there's a lot of old graves that have fell in. And I'm sure that the disrespect from that, you know, adds to the paranormal. Gotta watch the snakes too. <clears throat> I don't understand this setup right here. It's just a square, square concrete. Now, unless that was like a vault at one time, maybe y'all can tell me what it is in the comments. I mean, maybe there was more than one person buried there. Got another one here that fell in. It's hard to see on camera, guys, but they're completely fell in. I don't like to tell the names. I'm just trying to show how old this stuff is, you know? Let me, uh, let me get my other camera because it takes better pictures. That way I can use this one to film and take pictures of the other ones because I would really love to capture those. I hope they'll show this up in the daylight because it was dark when we caught them last time. That looks like graves there. This just fell in with no, with no markers. But I come in peace, y'all. You know, if you want to communicate, I truly have a big heart and I truly care if you need some help. I'm going to get my more of a high definition camera to take the pictures with and we'll, we'll see what we can get. But like I said, each time we caught those apparitions was around dusk dark. Oh, we caught another one that was kneeling down. I'll put all those pictures on there so you can see what I'm talking about. 
But yeah, this is one of the oldest graveyards down here. It's one of the most active as far as uh, EVPs. As far as EVPs, uh, disembodied voices, apparitions, noises, some of the disembodied voices are scared the crap out of you because you can't always tell where they're coming from. And I, my first time here, I'll show you where it was at. Now this one haunts me to this day. I was filming, I was walking by this grave right here. And as you can see, it's partially fell in. Well, as I walked by, I caught an EVP that said, let me out. And of course, I didn't hear it in real time. I heard it when I got home. And it didn't really scare me or hurt me. Because the main thing I'm wondering is why is it wanting out? Why is it stuck, you know? So we're going to kind of, I wanted to just, like I said, I wanted to just film around and take pictures with my better camera. Hold on guys, let me stop this, figure this out. Well, like I said, you can see that uh, somebody is trying to clean it up in here and try to make it look, you know, somewhat, somewhat nice and stuff. So I'm going to start taking some pictures real quick and maybe I can start capturing some stuff. I took some pictures. Like I said, they've always been mostly, mostly in the dark, but I'm hoping with this new camera that maybe they'll uh, can show up during the daytime. I really don't understand why they would show up during the night time and not the daytime. I've always been fascinated with this grave. One reason because I've caught EVPs here. And you can tell that it's almost fell in too. I hope the sun's not glaring. But this is an old grave. 1909 something like that I never understood why sun spirits use nighttime to be more active there was another place that I used to investigate that a lot of you knew about that I'm not supposed to say the name of no more. I'm doing it out of a courtesy. But uh, it didn't matter there. It didn't matter if it was daylight or dark. Can you show yourself to my camera? We've caught a lot of light anomalies up in those woods. We've caught a lot of light anomalies up in those woods. We've caught shadows moving. And like I said, between video and pictures, maybe I can know. <clears throat> what the freak was that? Hello? Guys, that was a voice. There's kids playing up the road, but this was a voice like right here. We've caught a lot of light anomalies up in those woods. We've caught shadows moving. And like I said, between video and pictures, maybe I can, um... <clears throat> what the freak was that? 
I just took a buttload of pictures. But like I said, I don't know which way it came from. It sounded like it was over here. Sometimes it'd be hard to tell. Like I said, there are kids playing, but this voice was like local. Did you speak up in here? Do you need help? I hope that sun's not blinding. Can you speak again? Please? That was definitely a voice though. This time in my video, you're gonna see a lot more pictures taken if I can catch some stuff. That voice, I'm gonna go analyze it because that was the real deal. When you hear this stuff, man, it'll put chills up you. And this place never fails to deliver. Can you tell me where you're speaking from? I heard it over here. I don't think that was one of those kids hollering. Like I really don't. Oh, this. I just heard a grunt. Hello? Alright, I'm fixing to get the spirit box. Because if they're talking like that, disembodied, then maybe I can catch them on the spirit box. Thank you for speaking. I really appreciate that. I'll feel better once I know what you said. And I can hear you and communicate. Oh. Can you tell me the name of the spirit that made the voice? Come in here with me. I've come with all respect, peace, and love. What's that? What? You say, who is that? What did you say earlier? I'm here for you. Were you trying to give me a message? Can you tell me your name? Holy crap, I just watched a shadow figure. I just watched a shadow figure raise up from those uh, weeds. Keep talking.
Are you a good spirit? Do you remember me? Sometimes it takes them a little while to find the scanner. You gotta remember, we're tapping into their, their world. I promise you, it's okay to speak on here. What am I doing right now? like it when I come here? Let's try AM again. Yeah.